Relationship of Solid Figures Volumes Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to determine the relationship of the volume between rectangular prism and pyramid, cylinder and cone, and cylinder and sphere. Let's begin! We have here a tank in the form of rectangular prism. Its height measures 4 cm, length 2 cm, and width 2 cm. Now let's solve for its volume. But wait, do you know what volume means? Volume is the amount of space inside a solid figure or three-dimensional figures. Unlike the area which is measured in square units, in volume it is measured in cubic units. Cubic unit is a cube whose sides measure one unit. If each side measures one centimeter, it will be called one cubic centimeter. If they are one meter, the volume would be one cubic meter. Now if we have two cubes whose sides measure one unit, the volume would be two cubic units. If we add one, that will be three cubic units. And let's say we have three more. That will be six cubic units. Here we can see that we have formed a rectangular prism whose height measures 2 units, length 3 units, and the width 1 unit. We can determine the volume of a figure by counting the number of cubic units that can fit inside it. Now let's try and go back to our problem. Now let's try to make some cubic units using the dimension of this figure. Here, the rectangular prism has the height of 4 cm. It means it has 4 1 cm. So that will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now for the length, it has 2 cm. So that will be 2 1 cm. 1 and 2. And also for its width, it has 2 1 cm. So that will be 1 and 2. Now we have formed some cubic units. Now let us count them. Now we have 16 cubic units or 16 cubic centimeters. And that's the volume of this prism. Now we can observe that if we multiply 2 centimeters to 2 centimeters to 4 centimeters, we will get the volume 16 cubic centimeters. This means that to get the volume of a prism, we can simply multiply the length, so its width, to its height. Or that will be length times width times height. Also, we can observe that the length times the width is the area of the base. Therefore, we can also say that to get its volume, we can multiply the area of the base to its height. So that will be area of the base times the height. Now, as we can see, we are multiplying three dimensions. Therefore, we can also write the answer as 16 cubic centimeters with 3 as the exponent. Wonderful! Now, we learned that the volume is the product of the area of the base and the height. So we can make a formula as V equals area of the base times the height. Wonderful! Now let's take a look at these two figures. We have a rectangular prism and a pyramid with the same height and base. Now let's determine the relationship of the volumes of prism and pyramid using an experiment. Here, the prism and the pyramid has the same height and base.
From the experiment, we learned that one rectangular prism is equal to three pyramid, considering that they have the same height and base. Therefore, we can say that the volume of the pyramid is equal to one-third of the volume of the rectangular prism. So the formula for the pyramid's volume is one-third times the length times the width times the height or length times width times the height divided by 3. Or we could also say that the volume of the pyramid would be one-third of the area of the base times the height. Awesome! Next up, we have here a cylinder. Again, since we know the volume is equal to the area of the base times the height, let's try to make a formula for the volume of cylinder. First, let's identify its base. Since it has circular base, we can say that the area of the base will be the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. Therefore, that will be volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared times the height. Great job! Now let's take a look at these two figures. We have here a cylinder and a cone with the same height, base, and radius. Now let's determine the relationship of the volumes of the cylinder and cone using an experiment. Here we can see that the cylinder and the cone has the same height and base. From the experiment, we learned that one cylinder is equal to three cones, considering that they have the same height and base. Therefore, we can say that the volume of the cone is one-third of the volume of the cylinder. So the formula for the cone's volume is one-third times pi r squared h, or pi r squared h divided by 3. Great job! Last one, we have a cylinder and a sphere with the same height and radius. Now let's determine the relationship of the volumes of the cylinder and sphere using an experiment. In this experiment, the sphere and the cylinder has the same height and radius. From the experiment, we learned that one sphere can fill two-thirds of the cylinder, considering that they have the same height and radius. Therefore, we can say that the volume of sphere is two-thirds of the volume of the cylinder. So the formula for the sphere's volume is two-thirds pi r squared h. Here, the height of the sphere is equal to the twice of the radius. So that will be 2R. Now we can simplify the formula more by multiplying 2 and 2. So that makes 4 third. Here, pi r squared times r means r times r times r, which is r to the third power. Therefore, our final formula would be 4 third pi r to the third power or pi r cubed. Wonderful! You made it this far students. Now here are the things that you learned today.